Today we're going to talk about the wiring of the Powermatic MC200. The terminal strip is located behind the bottom cover which can be exposed by removing these two screws. The terminals are broken into two sections. The high voltage section which is normally mains voltage and the low voltage section to the left hand side. The live, neutral and earth terminals are located on the right hand side. The power supply to these cables must come from the unit being controlled by the MC200. Working our way along, the next terminal is your live output, terminal 14. That is a live output via your 6.3 amp internal fuse on board the MC200. The next few terminals, fan, heat low and heat high, are volt free terminals, giving you the facility to bring in a live supply from your heater into your inner terminals or by using the live output to link across to these terminals. The MC200 gives you high-low facility as well as single stage operation. If using single stage operation we only use the heat low terminals. Moving further along we have terminal 7 which is lockout indication. This is energized via a 230 volt input from the heater. The adjacent terminal, terminal 6, is your reset, your burner reset. That will give a pulsed neutral supply back to your heater to remove the burner lockout. Onto your low voltage terminals we have the SEN1 and COM which is terminals 1 and 2. As standard there will be a thermistor bead supplied with the MC200 into these terminals. If using a remote sensor or remote warm air black bulb sensor, this thermistor is removed and replaced with a two core Belden cable going back to your remote sensor. Terminal 3, input 2, can be used for a remote sensor when using in conjunction with the internal sensor or can be used for a remote off via a door switch. The last two terminals, terminal 4 and terminal 5, is a 0 to 10 volt DC modulation output. Terminal 4 is your positive, terminal 5 is your negative. Let's now wire the MC200 in conjunction with a standard on-off NVX warm air heater. Once we have the main supply connected, we now need to put a link cable between the live output terminal over to the fan input terminal, terminal 12, and also the heat low input terminal, terminal 10. Once these are in place, it's now time to wire the remaining cables back to your heater. The terminals we are going to use 
are terminals 13 which is fan out, terminal 11 which is heat out and terminal 7 and terminal 6 which is lock out and reset respectively. and that's your wiring complete. If you require any further information on the MC200 please visit our website on www.powermatic.co.uk